Hello everybody, I am back again with another wyvern video. This will be hatching and raising a baby wyvern. Uh, I was going to do this with the 190 egg that I happened to find in the last episode, but uh, I already hatched it and this is what came out. Uh, looks kind of like a watermelon, you know, the green outer edges and the pink inner wings. <coughs> But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, today I'm actually going to be hatching a lower level fire wyvern. These are all the stats for it. Uh, you can just go back and pause on those. Uh, the beetles, back again. Still have my trained on, but uh, unfortunately, after the last video was filmed, uh, Actually, very shortly after, I uh, went flying back to where my horse was, and not for my horse, actually, I was just flying in that area, and I saw a dragon. I was like, oh, what's that? And all of a sudden, on my screen, it just pops up, your level, like, whatever, 160-something, Equus was killed by a light, lightning wyvern or poison wyvern or whatever it was, and I was like, oh, great. I knew I'd forget that there. And so, yeah, that was peak. Uh, so you're gonna need 18 to 18 standing torches um, Just put a few pieces of wood in it And just perform it in like a In like a U shape around the egg or like a circle shape around the head with an opening so you can put the egg in okay, So 18 torches should do it Okay, so, and then you go in your inventory, and when you hover over the egg, make sure you drop it instead of consuming it. And then you just drop it, and then it'll say, if you have enough heat, it, it'll say incubating. And uh, I have about five minutes, so I'll, I'll cut a decent chunk of this out so you don't have to wait. Okay, so the egg is almost hatched. It's gonna be on its way. Um, there we go. Okay, so now that your little young wyvern is hatched, you wanna do disable wandering, so uh, when you uh, disable following, it won't wander off, because uh, the game actually, uh, for some reason, it thinks that the wyvern is a full-size wyvern, even though it's not. So while it's a baby, uh, and you have an unfollow, you have to get far enough away that a full-grown wyvern would follow you. And same way with why I'm turning these off and disabling following, because this thing, since it's in the game, technically it's a full-size wyvern, it can get on top of the torches and kill itself. Just because even though it might have, like, the video game uh, size that the game thinks it has, it doesn't have that much health while it's a baby, so you gotta be extra safe about that. Okay, so basically you wanna enable following again once you turn all of them off. Uh, take it out of the circle and bring it into an open area where it has plenty of room to grow. And then basically from something else that you've tamed or from an animal in the area, harvest some just raw meat. Just regular raw meat. Yeah, you see that imprint right there. Uh, so just grab some raw meat and put it in inventory. You don't need wyvern milk. Wyvern milk's just for imprinting. If And I'd only recommend getting wyvern milk if it was a level 190, which is what I should have done for the poison wyvern, but I didn't. So it's a little too late for me, but you know. If you do find a 190 or an 80, 185 or something, I like that. I definitely recommend getting it, but for this, I'm not going to use it. So just put raw meat in there. And then it says once care in. So once that timer runs down, it'll say like uh, it wants to go on a walk with you. So you put it on following and have it follow you for a little bit, and then it'll get a three percent imprint. The imprint raises its health uh, and damage. I'm not sure if it raises its weight. These are its stats. Um. So basically, this one is cuddle. So you press Y. 
if you're on Xbox and it's imprinting 3%, so that'll increase its stats, and then that's the little imprint animation. Uh, so there's only three anim there's only like three once care things you can do for a wyvern. Uh, you can either wants to cuddle with you, wants to go on a walk, or wants its comfort food, which its comfort food is wyvern milk. And basically, until you feed it that wyvern milk, you won't get another once care. So, if you have a low level like this, and you're not really worried about, you know, having the best of the best for it, and you don't have any wyvern milk, uh, hopefully, uh, you should get, like, a cuddle or a go on a walk before you get wyvern milk, so you can at least get a few things. But, once you get a feed co uh, comfort food wyvern milk, uh, you won't be able to actually uh, cuddle with it or do anything else with it until you feed it that. So if you don't have it, you're just stuck with it saying feed wyvern milk, feed wyvern milk. But uh, if you don't do it, it's fine. Uh, it's perfectly fine. It won't hurt the animal or whatever. Uh, it won't hurt the animal if you stop. Okay, so I took a little bit of cut there uh, just for the maturation of it. And uh, we're back here, 5% left. And uh, I'll show you the uh, fully matured animation. I'll show you a little bit of like a round the block uh, tour of all the different types of dragons. So this is the fire dragon, obviously. This is my lightning dragon, Zapdos. Of course, they won't have the same colors, but they'll have a similar pattern and style. Uh, my Zapdos is very blue color. Uh, both my fire dragons are both very orange, just basic. But my poison wyvern actually looks very watermelon-esque, I'd say. He's a... Uh, quite interesting one I like him the most his colors the best uh, he also does the most damage out of my creatures so that's great okay here we go we're getting close uh, that's what a regular poison weapon is supposed to look like just plain out green but uh, fire weapons can actually look pretty cool but I just happen to get a bunch of basic ones uh, yeah. There's... That's the maturation. Uh, animation. Okay, I'm gonna show off the... Uh, attacks on creatures here in a second. So, like, last episode I said... You know, the, the lightning wyvern does a very... Rapid, rapid fire, you know damage numbers after damage numbers after damage numbers but it doesn't do like a sticking damage or a lasting damage I suppose without you attacking it so like the fire dragon it will breathe on it and do a base damage but it'll also light it on fire doing continual damage like that but a wyvern can't do that see like you can see those damage numbers that are just on top of each other just you know, just, you know, stacking up and stacking up and just, in, I almost instantly just wrecked that Bronto. And granted, it was a, it was a lower level, but still, Brontos, even at that low level, have a lot of health. I definitely, I definitely recommend getting a Wyvern. It's a very worthwhile investment. Even though you might see it as very dangerous, I definitely recommend getting one. This is the fire dragon, a smaug is what I named mine. He does a lot of damage, he is a very high level. He came out of a 155 egg. My lightning wyvern came out of 165. And my poison came out of 190. And there should be a few trikes around here. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, 190 is the highest level you can get. I'll take on these two. See, base damage and then it lights them on fire. Uh, they, wyverns are not immune to concussion from, uh, trikes as you can see, from that yellow, uh, daze around my head. Oh, there are three of them, okay. But, uh, uh, triceratops also do get the rivalry bonus from a wyvern, just like they do a T-Rex, they get boosted sets. Oh, here's a Brano right here for my poison wyvern to take on and show you the 
damage numbers and stuff like that. Uh, you can probably skip like 10-15 seconds so you don't have to watch me uh, walk this dude back so now that I'm out of stamina. Well, I guess that new fire wyvern is a bit brighter than mine. Mine's, mine's a much darker I guess. Okay. Alright. So here is my watermelon dragon. Which is probably what I should have named it, but Gore the God Butcher from uh, like the Marvel comics sounded pretty cool, so I thought about that. Oh, and uh, I'm trying to put him on passive, but uh, I accidentally just hid my hat. Alright, uh, hopefully that passive worked. The poison weapons are very good for like air striking a creature, just doing like a drive by, shoot and run. Oh, and for some reason my fire weapon is attacking. I guess my passive call didn't didn't reach it. Come on. There we go. I think I got it. Yeah, I did. Okay. Well, now I'm out of stamina, so now I can't use my poison balls, but it'll be fun. Oh, and I just missed that one. Okay. Well. So, as you can see, that's the bite attack. The bite attack only does uh, 487, but that's that's just for my dragon. Uh, you can make it higher or increase health above that or whatever, but uh, that's just for my levels that I put in. Uh, obviously, the... Poison Ball does a lot more damage, especially if they stay in the gas, because the impact damage is even more than the bite, but, uh, this has been Hatching and Raising a Wyvern, uh, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe.